this game would have been like an, an unbelievable achievement for 1985, but nobody could play it. Nobody could play it. Nobody could enjoy or experience the game because all you do is get killed. <laughs> Okay, uh, we've just beaten the game. <laughs> I mean, you know, it'll take us some just moving around to actually beat the game, but I think it is reasonable for me to say we have now beaten this video game. This is a beaten video game. I beat it to a freaking pulp. I beat it to within an inch of its life and then continued beating it and made it die. Oh, the, the, yeah, yeah, even with all of this, we'll still get killed by random master ninjas. It'll be the most annoying thing imaginable. <laughs> like, all of this won't even matter, because this game just cheats. This game has no interest in playing fair. <laughs> I mean, I have no interest in playing fair demonstrably, but also... <laughs> Okay, now, uh, right down this hallway, there's a dragon that, uh, appears if you don't sing. Screw it! I'm not gonna sing! I'm gonna kill these dragons! I'm gonna just, like, tear them apart with my bare hands! <laughs> oh no, it's two red dragons! Oh no! Oh, I'm so afraid! I'm not even gonna use the back row. Oh, no, they hit me. Oh, they killed my conjurer. No, why did they do that? I haven't killed either of them. <laughs> I hate this game. After cheating, I just didn't get any easier. Game. <laughs> Screw this crap. <laughs> they ought to let us run. Yeah, yeah, all enemies are pathetic compared to us now. That's the- that's the major benefit of getting overleveled, that the enemies will run away. <laughs> it's not- it's just like avoiding doing the battles at all. <laughs> They all run. They all run. This is why it was worth it. It's just to make the enemies run. <laughs> Again, I don't know what to do here, actually. It's just occurred to me that, like, I came back here so cockily, but what the hell am I supposed to do now? This is obviously, like, the final chamber here. But I can't get there because I'm missing the square. I came back here slightly too cockily. The square must be somewhere in here. I don't think that it's very likely that I missed it. I have actually fully explored all the floors of Mangar. It, it's gotta be here. Let's assume it's there. Let's be an optimist. Let's assume it's there. I don't know where the silver square is. I don't know where the silver square is. Oh no! I've run out of places to look. I've run out of places to look here. Uh, anybody in chat who is, uh, read up? Can you give me a hint? Did I miss something very obvious, or is this game just pulling more bullshit on me here? The silver square was in your heart all along. I mean, with enough, like, editing, I'm sure I could cheat in the silver square, but, uh... The thing is... This- that- that is not the way that this game has been unfair and stupid so far. Mostly the way this game has been unfair and stupid is just, like, the quantity and, uh, scaling of enemies. Not... Um, like, puzzles that are impossible to figure out. I've actually been really impressed with the puzzles, for the most part. They're actually pretty good. 
which makes me think I must have just missed something. I guess, like, maybe this teleport, there's a behind the teleport. And I just missed it because I got stuck getting teleported. Yeah, this is the most likely place right here. This is also a possibility if I just tried to get out of one of these killing rooms. This seems the most likely to me. Oh, no, the whole... It's all protected by magic. I just can't teleport up there. Well, that's excessively annoying. I'm gonna have to go here the old-fashioned way. What is the point of being able to magic teleport if it doesn't freaking work anywhere? Okay, okay. We are to a highly suspicious place that I definitely should have explored more, but didn't because of this. <laughs> uh, let me label where this actually goes to, 416. Okay, so how do I get there? I cannot believe that a par just isn't working here. Take me north by two. Literally doesn't work here. So infuriating. And phase door also doesn't work? How can you possibly get through here if you can neither phase door nor teleport? This is much more of a mystery than I anticipated. How do I get to this north end? Maybe I can only get in that way. It must be that, like, doing this riddle or something opens that path. It must be that when you do something else elsewhere, like this riddle, then this teleporter goes away. Uh, right, this is the one that sounds like it's gonna be a complicated riddle, but it's actually just vampire. Okay, so this teleported me to... one, zero. Tell uh, to one zero. What? 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 <laughs> but I did the riddle. But I did the riddle. But I did the riddle. <laughs> I obviously did the riddle because I put it in the map and then I said that was. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that's that's the thing, Molo. I probably did the riddle and then did some teleportation in a stupid way and or, or uh, reloaded or whatever. Or my inventory was full at the time. Also a distinct possibility. Okay, we have everything. This has to do something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Ten, okay, so we haven't actually been teleported, uh, but it did, like, change the- it, it made that door appear, basically. Let's rest after going through the poison room. Is this dark? It's really dark after all that BS. Of course it's dark. Why wouldn't it be dark? Okay, let's mark it as dark. Okay, that's anti-magic. Anti-magic. So let me guess, you have to go through some anti-magic to get to Mandar. You're not gonna have your magic with you. 
I stand in the antechamber of Mand Mangar the Dork, evil archmage of Scara Bray. Mangar glares at you with deep hatred. Die, mortals, he screams. With a wave of his hand, a few of his close friends drop by. They don't look like a fun group. Two greater demons, three vampire lords, and one Mangar. We're about to beat the game. We're about to beat the game. Oops. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Mangar. Uh, okay, so unsurprising that it didn't give us some of our benefits, but it doesn't really matter because we've cheated like crazy. Uh, I'm gonna focus on the vampire lords from the front row. Uh, no, I'm not. Whoa, 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 wait, no. Uh, somebody has on them... Uh... Somebody has on them... The Thor figurine! There, you use the Thor figurine. Everybody else, whatever. The Ring of Power... Uh, the, the, the flame horn on the vampire lords. Uh, ring of power, go. Mangar the dork! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Mangar the dork! Greater demon breathes at some greater demons. That's normal. I'm gonna replace this greater demon that I've only just summoned with, uh, Thor, but, you know, whatevs. Can't hit me, and even if you do hit me, and even if you do drop a level, I'm level like 60, and <laughs> I'll be fine. Welcome, Thor. We, we only want you for the final boss. I gotta, we're gonna do the final boss in regular speed. We're not fast motioning the final boss. They're all repelling our spells. Everybody's repelling the spells. And at a Mangar. <laughs> a Mangar <laughs> repelled the spell. Maybe I have to use the, uh, the silver stuff as a stream imagination for it to work? I don't know. Killed a vampire lord. Killed another vampire lord. That should be all of them. Yep, killed the third vampire lord. Unless he's summoned more, at least the vampire lords are gone. Great, good job, Speclad. Glad to have you along. You've burnt Mangar for 14 points of damage. Well worth it. Boy, they're very good at repelling our spells, huh? Ooh, the party disbelieves. The ghoul is gone. Still fa- or the- something is gone. <laughs> I still face one Mangar. I would have- I will have one Mangar, please, and one ghoul. Uh, focus on Mangar from the front row. And... Yeah, I, I think we're fine. Ring of Power. Flamehorn, probably on Mangar. And, uh, Ring of Power. I think Mangar is going to be hard to kill, <laughs> for obvious reasons. Yeah, 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 you can summon greater demons. We can summon greater demons too, but our greater demons are greater. He looks like Tom Bombadil says Molo chat. <laughs> Very threatening. Bye, Mangar! Masked Dragon breathed fire at you through a horn, and you died. And then we still have to kill the ghoul, probably. We're still gonna have to kill the other crap that's here. <laughs> we already killed the main boss, but the game is like, nah, you've got more killing to do post-main boss because of the other enemies in this, in this stupid battle. <laughs> Is this, uh, final boss considerably easier than the random encounters on the same level? <laughs> Seems possible. I killed a main boss, says Molo. Shut your face. Stop missing. Wow, Greater Demon was the boss all along. Good point, Joey. He just did 132 points of damage to, uh, to Speclad and 122 to Van Whitman. I would have died instantly if I hadn't cheated. You almost killed Thor. Don't kill Thor, that's not nice. Stop missing. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. I think that's the, uh, the Mangar battle. Mass Dragon breathes, he's just, you know, whew, the game's over. <laughs> 5,000 experience from the final boss, cool, cool. Pipes of Pan, great, really useful now. <laughs> One note of the song before it recognizes that we've just, uh, beaten the game. Kyliren, the good Archmage, appears before you in a flash of light. Well done, he cries, beaming. Your quest in Scarabray is now finished! The evil one is now defeated, and his spell of winter will soon end! 
You will, oh, as a symbol of my gratitude, receive a gold ad experience. <laughs> Kylier. Now, we've, we've just abbreviated his name. What is this, a post credit sequence? The game doesn't end? I have- I'm forced to keep playing this garbage? <laughs> oh, this is all an anti-magic area. Interesting. <laughs> Thank you, Overlord Nader. <laughs> you complimented me on my incredible voice acting in chat. It's definitely what Kyle Aaron sounds like. <laughs> I guess we're supposed to go into that chamber, huh? Probably. That's probably the expectation. Not going to, but you know, whatevs. It's over, right, says Master Dragon. I don't know! <laughs> what do I know? Okay, fine. What? What? <laughs> what is happening? Hmm. That's not the, uh, not the answer this magic mouth expected. <laughs> no, also not that. Hmm. <laughs> How is there still game happening? How is there still game happening? Where am I? 1021? So I got teleported somewhere. Oh, no, 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 wait. Tele te okay, so I was just like off by one as I drew this. Can I use my compass in here, please? <laughs> yes. Okay, I don't, I don't want to do this crap. Uh... I don't know. What can bind the mightiest foes? I don't care. <laughs> Maybe that was the final boss of the first act. No! It said your adventures in Scar of Bray are now complete. <laughs> what I'm curious about is like, did it somewhere like way back in the wine cellar or something have this clue? Like if I go back here in the sewers, is it gonna say, you know, something could bind the mightiest foes? Oh, it actually wasn't that, like, cheesy and stupid. Faith. Uh, sex. <laughs> uh, God. Handcuffs. <laughs> Bonded. Oops, wait, wait, that was, that was at the typo. <laughs> Jail. <laughs> Jail. <laughs> Prison. <laughs> Turns out it's not any of those. I, we're done with the game, so I'm just gonna one by the mightiest foes. Bard's tale. Just Google tell me. Answer Spectre Snare? What what? Well not if I type it wrong. Who's have found something? I don't know, I found a thing. I found something. What, so is this like a Pokeball? Can I now bond the, bind the mightiest foes with it? I can't even believe that we're not out of the game yet. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, where, where are we? Uh, minus, well, plus one. Plus one, minus ten, minus four. Plus one, minus ten, minus four. I'm curious about one thing back in the overworld, uh, which is you weren't able to exit the city because there was a snowy gate here. Uh, so I'm wondering if you can actually exit the city now. That would be actually, like, genuinely very interesting. Great, we did a really good job. We really saved the city from endless winter. We sure did it. We did it. We won. Nothing happened. 
<laughs> oh, Kyleran, you tit. <laughs> oh, okie dokie. Well, that's it. That's the Bard's Tale. We did it. <laughs> we beat the Bard's Tale. Okay, let me, let me, let me give some thoughts here. Let me give some thoughts here. He did say the spell would end soon, says Joey. Yeah, fair point. Uh, my opinions are actually really mixed. I hate this game. <laughs> so, my opinions are mixed, not in the sense of like, well, there's some stuff to like and some stuff to do, but like, it, so, you know, Usually, if you have sort of neutral opinions on something, it's like, oh, I don't feel that strongly either way. I feel very strongly, just I feel strongly both ways. <laughs> Some of the, like, design and, like, puzzles and just the depth of thought put into the game and, like, even even the characterization to a certain point, I mean, you know, it's not exactly deep, it's a very shallow RPG, but, like, the degree of thought put into making this a very complete, very, very long video game, uh... And it really wasn't that bad about, like, trapping you or doing things that, that you could never figure out. I, yeah, I missed that, the silver square. Uh, I would have found it eventually because, uh, you know, I, I missed it out of my own stupidity. Uh, like, the game is not... The, the actual, like, game design, if you set aside battles, the game design is actually mostly great. Okay, it is within, you know, the pseudo 3D that is never an acceptable never an acceptable way to design a game. Uh so that's unfortunate. Uh but you know, within the uh uh within the bounds of like what's achievable at the time, and given that, of course, they would obsessively use that stupid pseudo 3D style. There's, like, a lot to like about this game. It's really a very sophisticated game. And also, did they ever play it? Like, did they, for one second, sit down and start playing the game to realize, oh, this isn't fun? This is not a good experience? I've made a torture device in the form of a video game here. Like, if they just controlled the leveling a bit better like if they just brought everything down the uh the uh frequency of battles way down uh had better control over like uh rather than getting huge groups of enemies that are also hard enough on their own you either get like a huge group of enemies you can actually defeat or a small group of enemies that are difficult on their own cuz it it feels like the number of enemies you get is essentially random <laughs> uh if they just like balanced that kind of thing made the battles less frequent uh, and, like, it, at the very beginning, made it so that, uh, you don't just constantly die, like, in Scar of Bray from the low-level enemies, uh, uh, like, if they just, yeah, basically, if they just balanced the battle portion of this game, I, this would actually be good, this would be great, and, but... Like, that's such a frequent, common part of the game that ruins it so utterly <laughs> that instead, it's like a miserable experience. <laughs> this game would have been, like, a, a, an unbelievable achievement for 1985, but nobody could play it. Nobody could play it. Nobody could enjoy or experience the game because all you do is get killed. <laughs> uh, Malo says, so what you're saying is it's too much like Dragon Quest. Or maybe Dairy Queen is what he's saying. Uh, yeah, it's, it's actually too much like both of those. I don't know what that means, but particularly Dragon Quest. <laughs> and the real, like, the... The most difficult part to deal with in that is, given 
the problems and non-problems with the game, The Bard's Tale 2 could be excellent, and I kind of want to play it at some point. But it's not going to be. It's going to be terrible. It's going to be the same. They're going to have doubled down. The good is going to be even better, and the bad is going to be even worse. Okay, I need to go lie down for the rest of my life. Uh, That was Bard's Tale. I hate it and love it. (laughs) 